guys, today for Do It Yourself Sunday, I'm going to be sharing my tips and tricks on how to do, on how to grow your hair longer, uh, relatively quicker. Quicker. And believe me, I've been in your shoes. If you've cut your hair really, really short, like I cut my hair to my shoulders, and I want it to be long as quickly as possible, but it just doesn't work like that. You have to take time and you have to take effort to make your hair really nice. So yes, if you want to watch this video and see my tips and tricks on how to grow your hair healthy and long, just keep on watching. Okay, yeah, let's go. Hey guys, so the first tip is drink lots of water. And I know this tip might this tip might seem um, kind of stupid. It's really, really true. Not only for your hair, but for your whole body in general, you want to be drinking as much water as possible. Before you go and reach that soda or before you go and reach that juice, Ask yourself, have you drank enough water today? Because it's really important um, overall just to make sure you drink lots and lots of water. So yeah, that's my first tip. I have it written down on a sheet of paper because I've tried making this video like seven times and it was just so unorganized. So yeah. Second one I recommend is taking vitamins. Um, I recommend taking like hair, skin, and nail vitamins. I actually don't have any right now because I've just finished them. And so yeah, take vitamins. They're good for you. I'm crazy because why would you cut your hair if you're trying to grow it out? But I recommend cutting your hair every three months. If you're really prone to split ends, I recommend cutting it more frequently. But yeah, every three months or so, I will cut my hair around half an inch. Recently I've cut it two inches so my hair doesn't look as long but yeah it was like two inches longer before but I just cut it off. Um, I've cut my hair twice already in summer so I've cut it half an inch and then I've cut it um, two inches and yeah that's that's a lot of hair like for, for me if I'm trying to grow it out. But if you have split ends the last thing you want is to have them in your hair while you're trying to grow it out because first off it will just take forever. If you have split ends in your hair while you're trying to grow it it will take forever. Not only that, but if you're growing your hair with split ends, the split ends just grow up and up and up, 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 up your hair until um, until the day when you want to cut off all your split ends and you're going to have to cut off like half of your hair because you have so many and they just won't go away. No matter what you do, they won't go away until you cut them off. Anything. If you see a guy with really short hair and he just cuts it all the time, it grows back insanely like quick right you've noticed that right <laughs> I've noticed that um, but it's also with like shaving your legs your leg hair grows in like two days if that sometimes it even goes faster um, so your hair just grows quicker when it's cut so the more that you cut your hair the more frequently like you cut it and I wouldn't say cut off like this much like every month or something because that's not even possible but um, at least cut it half an inch like every couple months and that will help your hair be healthy and grow faster. The next thing I recommend is leave your hair as natural as possible. It does. Your hair just looks nicer natural and especially at first of course your hair isn't going to look as nice. Like, let's just be honest. The first time you leave your hair natural you're going to be like, oh geez, what happened to my hair? What I recommend is just every week try to add on a day don't do it all at once because it's just hard but every week just add on a day where you leave your hair natural or if you know you're gonna be in the house just leave it natural don't even curl it don't even do anything to it so um, yeah so that's how I slowly did it I only use heat on my hair when I have work and I don't have work that often they haven't given me that many hours look bad. your hair does not look bad natural it looks beautiful you all look beautiful natural so you might as well just flaunt it girl flaunt it your hair will be healthy if it's not if it if you don't use heat on your hair. Um, so yeah, if you can get it to a full week, if you don't even have heat products in your house, then freaking girl, you are on top of your game. Okay, let me just tell you. I wish I could be like you. I recommend using a hair mask in your hair once a week. And if you don't want, if you don't know what a hair mask is, it's basically like a really, 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 really rich conditioner that you leave in your hair for as long as it suggests on the back. Okay. The one I recommend is the Beyond the Zone Pro Formula Last Call Hair Mask for battered and abused hair. And this one's from Sally's and I got it for 99 cents. How amazing is that? Not only was it 99 cents, but it works miracles on your hair. Miracles! 
to get your hair looking really nice and not that like straw like feeling that you get whenever you dye your hair or whenever you use bleach on your hair this one really works but it also just works if you just want nice soft hair and if you're looking for something more in the higher price range is the it's a 10 uh, mask but honestly I like this one more I like it more and it's so much cheaper which is amazing. the next thing I recommend is using oils on your hair I use the macadamia healing oil treatment at the bottoms of my hair to help with the split ends and help keep moisture in and all that kind of stuff. And I also recommend using like um, organic coconut oil, which is also really good for your hair. And you can get it for like 10 bucks at the um, grocery store and you can also use it for cooking. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is if you're going to use heat in your hair, always, 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 always use heat protectant. And if you don't use heat protectant, I will find you. Use heat protectant in your hair, people. Use it. Use it. So, you can get lazy. I got, I used to get lazy too, and I was just like, hey, eh, what's the heat, what's the heat protectant really going to do, huh? No, it really helps, and it really helps prevent split ends. And so, if you want to uh, keep those split ends away from your hair, make sure you use the heat protectant. I use the Beyond the Zone Pro Formula Turn Up the Heat from Sally's and it was $8.69 when I bought it like forever ago. So yeah, I really like this one. Works really well and yeah. My throat hurts and I don't know why. <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is um, a detangler and making sure you don't have tangles in your hair and all that kind of stuff because I feel like tangles, when you're ripping them out of your hair, it really does... Um, make split ends and damage your hair really badly. So I use the Not Your Mother's Naughty to Nice Conditioning Detangler right when I get out of the shower and I use my Tangle Teaser when my hair is wet. I know people, my hair is wet when I use this. And a lot of people say, don't use combs on your hair when it's wet and don't brush your hair. But this is a whole different story. Go get one of these people, it will change your life. Change it, it will change it. It just glides through your hair like butter. like. Oh, like it just works so good. It just works so good. It takes out the knots without me having to like, ah, like, to, like ah. um, it makes my hair so soft and that's why my hair is so straight right now is this thing. These you can get them at Target. I think they're on ten dollars. I have. I've talked about everything. But yeah, if you have any other suggestions or like that kind of stuff, make sure you leave them down below so that I can read them and that I kind of know different things that I can do to my hair. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, make sure you leave them down below. Um, if you want to know how I did this to my hair, I only spent $11 on this right here, which is pretty good. If you went to the salon, they were trying to charge me 150 bucks. Are you kidding? No sorry. Mm-mm. Okay, yeah. So yeah, make sure you like this video if you want more DIY Sundays. Um, yeah. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah. Mwah. You guys are beautiful. Leave your hair natural. Leave your face natural. It's You're amazing natural, okay? Everyone's amazing all natural. You're beautiful. Okay.